Let me ask you about the um, – we, we uh, ended last hour talking about Monday Night Football, and would you – how would Tom Brady be in that role? But let, let me make you the boss of ESPN and you're going to bring yeah. in somebody for Monday night football trying to replace John Gruden. And you can have anybody. Who would you take? Peyton Manning. Would you take He's him over higher... Brady? Yeah, absolutely. Brad Favre. I would. Yes, I would. I would. Yeah. I'm, I'm considering every single person okay. that I could. It, it'd be, it would be Peyton Manning. He's uh, he's got the 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 greatest name recognition possible. Um, he's got the gift of gab. Uh, he's funny, um, and uh, would be a huge monster splash hire. And I think he'd be terrific at it. I think he'd be great at it. I just don't know if he's going to do it or would would want to do it right now. I I think most people believe his his post. Uh, playing career route should it involve football would be the Elway yeah. uh, um, role, not not the not the analyst role. Yeah, and I don't know what I know. Brady has shown glimpses of a sense of humor in some of the commercials he's done, and I brought up an interview I did with him over the phone for ESPN the magazine on the back page, and he was really funny, self-deprecating, and I'm going to guess he would tackle that like he does anything else. He wants to be great at it. Brady would be a curiosity for me. Favre, I think, would be fun. I, how about Favre and Randy Moss together? <laughs> That'd be great. Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, anything to mix it up. I, I I was one of those who enjoyed Dennis Miller. You know, just having somebody different in the booth from the perspective of um, you know conventional wisdom. Um, you know, Cosell was that. If you think about it, I yeah. mean, you're very original Monday Night Football booth. Um, I, I just don't know, you know, I think in reality, I, I know that they're, the name names being mentioned involves uh, one of my guys and Kurt Warner. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know what his contractual status is. And, you know, in terms of ESPN taking somebody from the game day morning set, that might actually help two birds with one rating stone right there. Um, but Steve Young, to me, would be a great choice. I mean, he's already in the building. He's already there. He's already um, somebody who's, I think, done it before. Didn't he do one of those with Boomer a few years ago, one of those back-end Monday night doubleheaders on ESPN? Uh, that, that seems to me that he, he's already in-house, he's already at the games, uh, and he's a Hall of Famer who knows the game very well and I think can, can speak off the top of his head in the manner in between snaps that you need. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.